Hey guys, Quinn here. Um, gearing up for fall. Luckily, I get to get out in the field next week. Super excited. And then I've got a real treat in January a goose hunt on the Chesapeake. So I was in the market for some new hunting boots, and you know, they are not cheap. Uh, I found a pair of Danner Killicks uh, for sale, on sale at around, at the time, I don't know, 140, 150 bucks. I think they list for 190. And I don't mind spending money on good footwear, but I did want to price compare, shop around a little bit. And I went to Danner's website and was poking around, and I found these. Danner evidently is the contractor for, uh, I don't know about all the armed forces, but at least for the Marines, and they make these MEBs, Marine Expeditionary Boot or Marine Expedition Boot. Um, has a little insignia there on the near the heel. Uh, and those boots retail for over $400. Now, I don't know if that's a product of the fact that they can put a different type of price on it on a government contract or if it's due to the quality and workmanship of materials. However, if you go to third market, third party retailers, there are a lot of military surplus boots around way cheaper than retail. I got these Danners for $69-ish, plus about 20 bucks to ship it. So, you know, not quite half, but considerably less than the Killix. Um, I got a boot that supposedly costs over twice as much, right? These are um, serviceable boots. You could have them resold if you choose, and they make two kinds, an insulated or at least a winterized version. I don't know that it's necessarily insulated, but it has this new buck all through the top. And then they also have a desert version that has less of that and is supposedly going to keep your foot cooler. I opted for the the thicker one because mo the times that I would be wearing these typically are going to be in the winter time. I've worn them just around to run some errands, etc., to start to break them in. They are crazy comfortable. They are as comfortable as a sneaker. Um, I think breaking time is minimal. I haven't done any hard miles in them yet, but just getting my foot used to the boot and the boot used to my foot before I trek and, and try to really put some miles on them. The big difference, I'll tell you, if you are a lightweight packing person who's doing an expedition uh, it's on the western slope, say, to go hunt elk, the big and main difference to me is those Killicks are 23 ounces, I believe, so... What I, or no, 46 ounces, so that'd be 23 ounces per side, and the MEBs are 66 ounces, so that's 10 uh, full ounces per boot heavier. Um, if that, if you're counting stuff down to the ounces, these are not the lightest weight boot that you can get, but for Danner quality, um, that is one of their premier boots based at least on what they sell to the U.S. military. Um, looking at surplus inventory, you can get a real bargain. And I kind of figured if they're good enough for the Marines, they're good enough for me. Thick sold, super comfortable right out of the box. So far, I've been very pleased. Thought this might help somebody out if you want a pair of high quality boots, but you're bargain conscious. So check them out. Good deal. All right. Thanks, guys. See you later. Bye.